Hey guys and welcome to this video. My name is Kata and I'm sharing some thoughts today about the Capricorn full moon that we have. Um, and I'm just going to share my like little routine or my plan for today in terms of how I'm going to utilize this energy and what I'm going to do with it. And I really decided I was going to use this day to specifically focus on uh, the, the recreation of myself, basically looking at where I'm going, what my plan is in terms of moving forward, uh, both career-wise, um, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Um, I kind of broke it down into these four sections for myself to look at each section individually and then figure out what changes I wanted to make for each of those sections and how I was going to implement those changes. So being a full moon, a uh, full moon is always a completion of a cycle. Uh, so today is a very, very good day to basically prepare yourself for um, physical detoxification. Physical detoxification is always best started directly the first day after a full moon. And the reason why that is, is because when we understand that our bodies follow the moon cycles, then we also understand that when a moon is in decreasing phase, meaning it is, has just been full and is now basically getting smaller and smaller to the physical eye as we watch it. Um, during that time, that, that decrease in lunar energy also is helpful in decreasing toxins in the body. So the body responds very much to the water in our, uh, the mo our body responds very much to the moon's cycles and the moon cycles affect water. Now water, uh, specifically because our bodies are, are 70 to 80% water, it's very important at this time to bring in more water and to bring in more things that are going to detoxify and flush the body. So I always begin any detox that I'm about to start or any kind of a special diet or even a fasting, actually, I prefer to start them after a full moon. Um, I do feel the effects to be significantly amplified. So my detoxification process in my body is actually goes through faster and goes through better when I'm doing it or starting it at, uh, at a decreasing phase versus a growing phase or waxing. So uh, pay attention to that. It's like I said, today is a very good prep day to prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically for a brand new cycle. And the way that, like I said, I prepare myself is there is definitely going to be a detox involved, um, adjusting my diet and making sure that I'm cutting away and cutting out many things that I know would normally irritate my body or cause inflammation in my body. So for me, that would be like dairy and, and breads, anything, any grains really um, tend to cause irritation in my body. So at this time, if you just remove those things for, you know, at least a good couple of weeks, um, and if not even longer, then you're going to get very, very good effects, very positive and uh, substantially better uh, effects from your fasting or from your detoxing than you normally would. So that would be a great thing to start. Uh, in terms of my mental purging, I most certainly have already begun doing that last night. I was journaling a ton and writing down different thoughts and things that were coming up for me. Um, and I will be spending much of the day today continuing to do that, definitely journaling and, and just purging out any shit that's in my mind, you know, that just keeps circulating in there. Anything that I feel like I've been trying to control, anything that I feel like I've been trying to manipulate or, or kind of force to, to go in my way, all of those things, anything that's control related is a really, really good thing to release at this time. Um, stepping into surrender, right? That's what really releasing control means is that we're stepping into surrender. So I'm going to practice stepping into surrender today by writing down all the different things that I currently wish to control in my life, but know that I really can't, certainly not in, in a forced kind of way that I've been trying to. So that'll be my little mental exercise. And then in addition to that, um, my spiritual exercise is most definitely going to be one to just connect with source, connect with my angels, 
um, thank them and and get into that space of gratitude and feeling the gratitude and really paying attention to the feeling inside of me. Um, I find how we feel and how spiritually connected we are very much uh, are interrelated. And you can't really separate the two because the, the more spiritually I elevate and the more I feel connected to source, to my angels, to my guides and to my ancestors, the more elevated I feel in terms of my emotions because I feel more support in my life. I feel more balanced. I feel a deep connection to something that is 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 beyond, you know, just physical material things. Um, and that kind of connection really takes you to a whole nother level within yourself. Like I really feel the connection to myself as a result of connecting to spirit. So that's going to be another exercise for me today uh, to focus on. And I most definitely would like to have, it's awesome right now, there's like no wind whatsoever, but I would really like to have my fire this evening out my fire pit. Uh, I will definitely have some things on my list again that I will be burning that I wish to just get rid of and 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 be done with and closing out a cycle any cycles that I wish to close out are going to be going on that list um, whether that's certain relationships or just certain mental patterns actually I'm going to be I think writing a lot of mental patterns down that I have um, that I wish to really release and just to give myself this opportunity to get into a whole brand new mindset so these the, like releasing 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 and i can't say it enough in so many different areas of our lives are definitely going to be something that we're going to want to do today on this capricorn full moon now being a, Cap a capricorn full moon uh being an earth sign uh this would also be a really really good time to look at your finances and to look at your relationship to your finances look at how you feel about money how you spend money and um, how worthy do you feel of, of the energy of money and of it coming into your life? Uh, so that would be another good thing. It's kind of highlighted a bit with this Capricorn full moon. So definitely take a look at that. I will be journaling on that and just different thoughts. Again, it's this isn't anything that has to be difficult. It's not something that you have to take overly seriously. It's something that you just sit down and you just kind of write what comes. You just allow it to flow naturally. You don't re resist, you don't restrict. And the main key thing is, is to be 100% honest with yourself and with your journaling. So really truly write down how you honestly genuinely feel right now and what your perceptions are about money or about relationships or about anything really that you wish to change in your life at this time. Um, it'll just give you insight into the truth of where you're at and from that truth you're going to be able to cultivate a brand new being because you're going to see okay if this is where I'm at and I know this is not where I want to be I want to be say here but right now I'm here then you know you're going to start to get ideas and you're going to start to get an inclination to want to elevate yourself to get yourself to that next level